Hello all, I thought I'd do one last beta 2.0 progress video before the Steam release, which is coming soon. Soon, <laughs> I swear. This video is going to be a little bit different than the last one. Uh, it's going to be less improvised and will kind of directly show off each feature uh, in different segments. The tooltip layout has been improved in terms of readability and design. We need to overhaul this a bit due to the unique descriptions being added in for each item. The descriptions will be quite useful for some items that aren't so <laughs> intuitive, like, say, for example, the stone water still. I'm pretty sure 95% of the people that play Wayward for the first time have no idea what that is. Both equipment and quick slot identifiers have been added in, allowing you to see exactly which of your inventory items are equipped and quick slotted, and where. I mentioned a bit in the last video, but they also now stay in the inventory instead of being dragged away completely. I talked a bit before about the smooth scrolling, but now monsters and shadows also scroll smoothly with the main camera, making everything look smooth. Did I say smooth enough? <laughs> Something you may have noticed when I was playing with the quick slots is the removal of the minimap. In its place, we have added in a zooming feature that is resolution independent and locked at a certain radius. This fixes a certain exploit or unfair advantage some players receive when using very high resolutions. We felt with these changes, cave spelunking would be a lot more challenging and engaging instead of <laughs> cheating in quotes and using the minimap to navigate. If this seems a bit restrictive, don't worry, there's a couple of caveats I'll go over later in the video. Keybinds have been added. As you can see here, every single key bind is configurable and mappable to any keyboard button. You can easily revert them to default as well. Part of the modding suite we are providing with 2.0 is this debugging menu that will allow you to spawn monsters, tiles, create items, and other things. I'll talk a bit more about mods later in the video. Overhead pop-ups for combat and stat numbers have been improved in look and responsiveness. A slight delay has been added on each item pickup when moving to help prevent erroneously picking up more than you can carry, and allowing more reaction time to judge items in your path. Movement in general has also been tweaked some more, allowing a more fluid responsive movement, especially when you're using a mouse. Seeds for all plants have been added now. Yeah, you can plant things like pineapple seeds, cacti seeds, and more. You can get them from eating or harvesting the plant, depending on what it is. Due to the challenging nature of caves in Nighttime and Wayward, we have made torches and temporary light a bit easier to manage allowing you to easily place lit or unlit torches directly into torch stands. You can also pick them back up. Now that the minimap has been removed, some items needed new uses. For example, the spyglass allowed the player to see one minimap screen over in a certain direction. Now it can be equipped and used to increase the overall line of sight radius for the player. Tattered maps will now show up in a draggable movable dialog that stays open until you close it, showing the full map detail. You can now also make your own maps, great for keeping track of where you're going or navigating caves. Ores and tile resources are now tile map like the rest of the tiles. They form fit to whichever surface they are attached to, making them look a little bit more realistic. Here's where I go into some of more of that technical stuff. A fully integrated modding system has been implemented using Steam Workshop, allowing you to install mods, enable, disable, and offer requirements for mod makers, allowing you to make like mods of mods for example. Wayward now also uses web workers for loading and map generation, allowing you to no longer freeze when loading, especially if you're on a less than stellar machine. All 2D canvases have been removed from the game. Everything is now rendered through WebGL, which will increase performance across the board. 
As Wayward started as a web-only game and has shifted to a more traditional application experience, we are able to offer fully uncompressed music, sounds, and graphics for this Steam release. This also ensures us all platforms and machines will offer a consistent experience for all these new things. You can check the changelog linked in the description to see everything coming out in Beta 2.0, and not just the stuff we mentioned here. Well, hope you all enjoyed, and Wayward Beta 2.0 is coming out soon. Soon.